Round six VFL action was at Casey Fields as the Scorpions took on the Box Hill Hawks and David Reese jones uh, an interesting game. Box Hill getting the job done in that second quarter and they weren't headed from there. No, they were terrific in the second quarter. They really smashed the game apart, a nine-goal second quarter. And, and they, they just worked really hard and, and, and were terrific. And, uh, and Casey, on the other hand, you know, they, they just had a really poor quarter and uh, it paid, they paid for it in the end. Yeah, they certainly did. You mentioned their use of the ball through the corridor. That was one of the pleasing things, particularly in that first half for Box Hill. And we talk about their attacking players and their midfielders, but their back line is so strong at the moment, one of the best in the competition. Yeah, and we served that passage of play there. I mean, going through the midfield is the shortest way home, and, uh, and, and that's the way to do it. Box Hill were continually looking inside and uh, looking for options in there. If there's nothing there, they go down the line. But uh, a lot of times there was because they were working very hard for each other. They were running, sharing the ball. Uh, their back line was terrific. And uh, right, right throughout the course of the day, they, they didn't have a really a poor player on the ground today. And they were kicking straight as well. Throughout that second quarter, they kicked seven goals in a row before scoring a behind and then just went on from there. And it was a bit of a procession uh, up to half time. And then Ryan Welsh, the coach of the K Casey Scorpions got stuck into his team at halftime and they came out firing and they just couldn't get the conversion right on the scoreboard. Yeah, they did, you know, and, and, and you'd expect that though. You know, half time having a very poor second quarter, you'd expect them to come out and show a bit of fight. And, and, and players like Couch, who, who, you know, hadn't had a lot of the ball in the first half, you know, started to get their hands on the ball. Pedersen was another one who, who, who helped a bit. And, uh, and they, they looked a much better team. It's, it's really a shame that that uh, second quarter really put them right out of the match. Yeah, they were piling on the behinds there. I think they kicked about eight behinds in that third quarter and really snuffed out their chances. So they were OK early in the final quarter. Box Hill getting uh, the two goals there. And then it just seemed to be a procession. Once they knew that the game was over, Box Hill really getting back on top and showing why they should be a premiership contender this season. Yeah, look, I mean, obviously a lot of that depends on their, their AFL-listed players and, and, and injuries to uh, to Hawthorne, of course. But um, we see uh, young Franks here, Amos Franks. He's an exciting player. And, and this is it. Their, their foot disposal was terrific. And, and even then, just to put the ball up and out in space and in front of your teammate to give him the, the advantage uh, just makes a huge difference. Yeah, Wanganeen on the end of that. Jed Anderson kicking three goals. You, you singled him out for praise during the coverage. He's a really up, uh, up and coming player. Yeah, look, he's uh, he's going to play a lot of games. Not at this level. He'll be playing games for Hawthorne and be a good player for a long time. Very good footy brain, good footballer. Yeah, and a good game from the Box Hill Hawks. As we take a look at the stats to full time, uh, the Box Hill side getting the job done and winning by 10 goals in round six.